Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Drones create Time Magazine cover. USGS UAS involved in rescue mission in Kilauea Volcano's Lower East Rift Zone. And DJI drones being used to save entangled wells. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. The world of unmanned technology is showing its effect on all manner of life experiences, including the cover of Time Magazine. Intel Shooting Star drones helped create their first magazine cover as a part of the recent Time Drone Special Issue. The issue is a first-time cover photo shot by a drone and featured an Intel drone light show. In early May, Intel's drone team worked with Time Magazine to replicate a massive Time masthead and red border in the Folsom, California sky with nearly 1,000 Intel shooting star drones. The magazine also includes an article contributed by Intel CEO Brian Kersanich, highlighting the innovation transformation and new perspectives drones bring to our lives. Intel drone technology, normally dedicated to real working roles in a number of professional disciplines, has also been repurposed as an entertainment system. In addition to displays at Super Bowls, rock concerts, and other public venues, Intel Shooting Star drones were recently used to create the sporting images as a part of the Olympic Winter Games Pyeongchang 2018 Victory Ceremony drone light shows. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. The GAO has released a report from a study conducted after Congress and others raised questions about the extent of unsafe small UAS use and FAA's other agencies' efforts to address safety risks they pose. The GAO found that the FAA's information on the extent of unsafe use of small unmanned aircraft systems in the national airspace system is limited. Although FAA collects data on several types of safety events involving small UAS, the accuracy and completeness of the data were found to be questionable. The Kansas Department of Transportation is using a fixed-wing drone to help plan safety improvement for a two-mile stretch of US-75. KDOT has contracted with Kirk and Michael Engineering Firm to fly the drone in a grid pattern over the highway. The goal is to use the images captured by the aircraft as a part of a highway safety improvement project that will add a passing lane to the highway. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems has officially launched Team Sky Guardian Canada, consisting of Canadian teammates CAE Canada, MDA, and L3 Westcam. The team is combining the best of Canadian industry with the world's most advanced medium-altitude long-endurance RPAs, the MQ-9B Sky Guardian, to fulfill Canada's RPA's project requirements. The MQ-9B is a 12,500-pound gross takeoff weight aircraft with over 40 hours of unrefueled mission endurance, capable of carrying wide-area maritime radars, long-range, HD video, and other sensor payloads. One of the many features undertaken by ANN's Airborne Unmanned Video Team was a look at a counter UAV technology like IXI Technologies Drone Killer. Check out ANN's IXI Drone Killer for When Good Drones Go Bad video feature on the Airborne Unmanned playlist on YouTube at airborne-unmanned.net. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. On May 27, 2018, the Department of Interior UAS Kilauea Response Team was conducting mapping missions to monitor lava flow. Around 7 p.m., the team launched a UAV to assess the northeast corner of Leilani Estates and identified a new outbreak of lava that was very rapidly moving towards a residential area. The team began providing live video of the flow's progress to emergency officials, who dispatched police and fire units to clear the residents off the street. The UAS team continued to provide live coverage of the breakout, and during the pre-flight of that aircraft, the team overheard radio transmissions that there was a civilian trapped at the residence on Luana Street. 
The team confirmed the location of the residence and flew into the area to assess. The individual was spotted and instructed to follow the drone to safety. The individual began moving through the jungle toward the drone. While he was making his way, the UAS team was able to track him visually. After about 10 minutes of providing direction information to both the stranded person and the first responders, the search team was able to make contact and guide him to safety. Every fall, pods of enormous humpback whales make their way towards Hawaii, where they can ride out the winter in warm waters of NOAA's Hawaiian Islands Humpback Whale National Marine Sanctuary. Specialists from NOAA have worked with local volunteers to help save the whales by launching small boats with trained teams to disentangle them from water hazards. It's risky work bringing people into close contact with gigantic mammals. Knives on long poles work to cut free ropes that have sunk deep into the whale's flesh. Last year, a volunteer was killed when a whale struck him. To help make the process safer, the whale rescue squads are turning to a new technology, drones. Matt Pickett, a former NOAA sanctuary manager, is now the founder of Oceans Unmanned, a nonprofit organization that facilitates the use of drone technology for marine conservation. Oceans Unmanned recently unveiled the Free Fly program, a new initiative designed to provide aerial support using small drones for large well entanglement response efforts. With drones, the team can cut that down to just one step. Using small remote control quadcopters with powerful cameras, they can do their initial assessment and final check. It makes the entire process much safer for both the humans and the wells. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.